Yeah, you have connections with my ex and his wife. That is, that is for sure. Okay, what does it come down to? You haven't accepted our belief, you haven't accepted our work, you haven't accepted our so-called science, you haven't had an open enough mind, you're not willing to accept new ideas, you're not willing to understand things that are beyond your belief. It's ironic. Because that's what you're kind of doing. You're not willing to accept actual science. You're invested in a belief. It is about belief, it's not about truth. And you're not willing to actually look at reality so much for an open mind. You stick with a belief system or a series of beliefs, call that open mind because it's a greater truth, as you're unwilling to actually examine how scientific your beliefs are. You say it's scientific because you've got a few scientists involved, but how many scientists are there in the world? And where do you draw the line? Oh, there's, uh, yes, uh, dozens, dozens of scientists I could, you know, simply look up and say they're spiritualists. Okay, go ahead. All right. That person, they've got a degree. Does, does that make them a scientist? A, d a degree in plant surgery. Oh, yes, that makes them a scientist. Oh, that, what, that person's got a PhD um, in electronics, which really helps them to talk about things like physics and interesting aspects there. So yeah, you, you end up with these people bringing forward so-called scientists, so they're people with degrees, people who have an academic background to some degree perhaps, in some cases. But then it's like, well, how actually are they, well, demonstrating your belief at all? In fact, are they? Are they demonstrating your belief? Are they confirming it as being true just simply by having a few, or, or, or even a great many, it doesn't make a difference, uh, qualifications which don't actually confirm anything? Mean Robert, you have connections with my ex and his wife. 